So Janet Buley, 74th Assemblywoman, uh, any comments about what's going on in Madison? Well, we have, first of all, something to celebrate. It, uh, the court ruled that the governor was out of compliance with the Constitution by locking down the Capitol. And on Monday morning, the Capitol is going to be open for business to the people of Wisconsin once again. That's a huge victory. And we owe a lot to the peaceful demonstrators who made it their priority that that happen. Uh, on the other hand, however, we are still um, looking at that budget repair bill, that uh, damaging a uh, cruel bill which will decimate rural communities, it will uh, eviscerate schools, it will force communities to make the kinds of decisions that the governor has the authority to make at the state level and instead he's kicking the debt can down to the local communities which is wrong. Rural communities don't have as much flexibility, they don't have the wiggle room that larger communities do, and the rural communities are going to suffer uh, a disproportionate amount because of both the budget repair bill and the budget that the governor presented to us last are week. Are you talking uh, largely in reference to the collective bargaining portion? Are everything. there other, oh, other aspects everything. of this? Everything. The collective bargaining, I mean, it, this is bad on two levels. One side, we've got the uh, elimination of rights, the eroding of rights of people of the state of Wisconsin, which is which is unprecedented. Mm -hmm. On the other side, we have the budgetary uh, limitations that are going to be placed on rural communities. So it's a one-two punch um, that the governor believes these removal of collective bargaining rights is a tool, but it's only a tool to deal with the fact mm -hmm. that he's cutting uh, aids to municipalities, he is cutting the shared revenue that so many right. rural communities need, and he's cutting funding for schools. So the tool is a knife. Mm -hmm. The tool is a knife to cut out your neighbors from your own community, mm -hmm. to lay off the people that are part of the fabric of your own town. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how the governor believes that communi small communities can handle this depth of cuts. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, he doesn't care. It's like the bargaining aspect of mm -hmm. the negotiations. It's gotten most of the profile. Right. Is there any other part of the bill that you, uh, I know I interviewed uh, Senator Jauk and he mentioned uh, the Medicare uh, Well, you know, it gives, it gives the, the governor unprecedented authority to do certain things. One of the things that he can do is that he can manipulate that threshold that, uh, that uh, figures the eligibility for many medical assistance mm -hmm. programs. That doesn't happen that way. The governor usually doesn't take that power to say who gets badger care and who doesn't. Right. This is this is just the wrong way to go about taking care of the most fragile people in our community. And then on the other hand, you know, he, for example, um, in the now not just the budget repair bill, but the new budget, he does things like uh, essentially eliminate the staffing of the Wisconsin Arts Board. Mm -hmm. um, a community like Spooner, which truly values the arts, right. um, you will no longer have a Wisconsin Arts Board to go to. You get to go find somebody in the Department of Tourism. Ten positions are being eliminated in the Wisconsin Arts Board in the new budget. I mean, you can go down the list, one thing after another, mm -hmm. that will decimate rural communities and change the quality also of life. Also some concern uh, about selling uh, state-owned power plants. It gives the, him the authority to uh, make that transaction to uh, sell the state-owned power plants without bids. Um, no community will go through um, selling an asset without getting the highest bid. Right. Why won't our own state do the same thing with the people's assets with our own power plants? Now I've I've interviewed a, interviewed a colleague of yours, Representative Vart, last right. Saturday and mm -hmm. asked him about the uh, the senators being out of state mm -hmm. and uh, his comment was that they were AWOL uh, this is, stops the democratic process. Uh, uh, people voted for who they voted for. Uh, uh, you know, as man far, up, show up, and vote. At, as uh, far as I know, <laughs> every one of those senators was legally, lawfully elected. They uh, were elected to serve the people that they represent. And they are putting themselves in front of this damaging bill. And mm -hmm. they are saying it stops. Mm -hmm. This is um, a courageous act on my part. It is part of the democratic process. Mm -hmm. They are doing exactly what they can do. It's been done before. Um, 
they know that if they were to return, there's no debate. That's, right. a, that's a sham. There will be no debate. I have been on the assembly floor to uh, in, be involved in many, many so-called debates. The debates are the Democrats trying their best to illuminate the flaws of the budget repair bill while the Republicans sit mm -hmm. like robots. They okay. do not debate. So, the, so uh, uh, Representative Rivard was critical of uh, 38 assembly people wearing union t-shirts, he said. He said union that, t You want to see the union t-shirts? Okay. Here's the union <laughs> He said that was a violation I of the protocol. I don't see that this represents a union. Okay. This says assembly Democrats. I'm an assembly Democrat as far as I know. I'm supporting, I'm fighting for working families as far as I know. Okay. And that I'm proud to wear this. Okay. So he's just jealous. <laughs> Anything else you want to say? I'm just proud to represent the 74th Assembly. I am proud to come here and see the support that you have here in your community of Spooner. Um, this is These are monumental times, and I know that the, the people of northern Wisconsin are going to stand up for their rights. All right. Thank you very much.